I'm standing here with the director and the actor of the movie Before. Welcome. Mm -hmm. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. My first question is, um, your movie is very much a portrait of Buenos Aires. Um, what's your own relationship to the city, both of you? Bueno, dice que es la que la película es como un poco un retrato de Buenos Aires y cuál es yes. nuestra relación con la ciudad. Mm. And well, I, we we both live in in the mm. city. Yes. We are actually kind of neighbors. Uh, we live in a neighbor, uh, a close vicinity neighbor, one to another. And uh, and we are we like to walk through the city uh, very much. Nos gusta caminar mucho por la ciudad. Yes, yes, yes. So we Working pretty much. And we walk every time, and we talk and walk. <laughs> so. Y poder retratarla. ¿sí? Yeah, and en el mm. cine. Por lo menos ¿Cómo? Nuestra, retratar en nuestra ciudad en el cine, digamos. Ah, yeah, to portrait una... uh, our city in the cinema is something that we like very much. Nos gusta. In your movie, um, would you say the family or the city has most impact on the character's life? Well, the city has this two faces, you know, uh, for him. The nice face, which is the summer and the neighborhood and, and, and the light and the day. And the same city uh, attacks, kind of, kind of attacks him uh, when he loses his family. So it's like, it's the same, these are, these are the two faces of the city. As they are the two faces of his life, you know, without and with his family. Digo, me preguntaban este, si la ciudad te, te afectaba, mm. ¿qué te afectaba más, la pérdida de tu familia o, de la, o la ciudad? Y, bueno, mm. que una cosa provoca la otra. Casi, yes, y que consecuentemente. La tiene... mm -hmm. So, when you're alone, Buenos Aires is not that nice? Um, well, I think that any city, uh, we were walking yesterday, me preguntaba si la ciudad, no, si la ciudad cuando estás solo en Buenos Aires no está buena. So you can, any, digamos, any, any city, any city can be aggressive maybe at night or lonely, you know. We were walking yesterday down Stockholm, which is a very nice, very, very, very nice city. Um, but, you know, you could feel the loneliness of it. Uh, if you are lonely and, <laughs> and you walk through an empty city, you know, even if it's beautiful. I was thinking about the father in the movie. He's very absent. And uh, I was thinking if that is a big... Uh, importance of the movie to the father figure well yes yes mm. it's it's mother it's more like a mother um, ruled family in a way and his father is like his pal uh, it's not more loud it's not an authoritative uh, person but it he goes with him you know uh, he's like an equal and I mean that I think that his father uh, likes to be like this with him you know and there is a conversation between him and his mother in which, uh, you know, his mother remember, reminds that uh, years, uh, years before that he wasn't going very well with his father, but now he does. So, so everything, everything gets to a peaceful mo uh, moment in his life. He's finishing his career, you know, and, and then everything strikes. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was all I had. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>